Hey tubers, it's Ben the Curious Consumer. I'm back with another video. Today is the day. Today is the day that I have decided to upgrade my PlayStation 5. So I'm gonna take you along on that journey. Not that you haven't seen a million and one of these videos on the internet people are doing with their systems right now is upgrading the storage capacity inside their systems. Now, Xbox has their specific little memory card here and it's that Seagate, uh, I believe it's this one's a one terabyte, but they've got two other versions that have just been announced. It is the... Uh, 512 gigabyte version and then a two terabyte version which is ridiculously expensive i mean it's literally almost as expensive as an xbox series x it's 399 dollars um what that's too much i mean this was 219 dollars for this little card uh, still a little bit too expensive you know storage is that at a premium especially on a xbox series s console which is what i use my card on um, they do have that other option for 140 bucks, which is the 512 gigabyte version. And then again, like I said, the two terabyte for 400 bucks. Uh, Sony has just obviously over the last few months has actually just released the update that allows them or allows you as the consumer to upgrade your internal storage as well with uh, M.2 SSDs. This is a WD Black uh, edition, which if you keep an eye out on the internet, uh, they can go on sale. I bought mine for about 149 or 169 bucks at Best Buy for a one terabyte version. Um, typically, it goes for over 200 bucks. So the the prices are comparable whether you go PlayStation or Xbox. However, you can seem to get some cheaper versions of the uh, SSDs for the PlayStation Five. They just the performance might be a little slower, right? So they have specific SSDs. They want you to be able to change them yourself. But uh, what I found, the WD Black version is probably one of the betters next to the Seagate version as well with 7,000 megabytes per second. Now, you'll notice the version that I have here doesn't have a heatsink. You can buy the heatsink version, which is a little bit more expensive, or you can go on to Amazon and pick up a heatsink yourself. This is the um, MHQLJRH, whatever. I'm sorry, the MHQJRH heatsink. Today, I'm actually going to install it my my little gum stick hard drive here if i can get it out of the package my little gum stick hard drive this little thing right here i'm going to be installing this into this which is the little heatsink thing that i'm going to be putting into my uh, playstation 5 so hopefully this goes well all right so i'm going to switch the view for you guys so you can see the top down right here uh inside this package for the uh the mhqjrh uh heatsink is your heatsink. They give you three of these little uh, pads here that actually will disperse some of the heat. They give you a screwdriver and of course some screws. I never use the screwdrivers in these kits only because of the fact that they're just always so small and my hands are kind of larger. So I always have my extra screwdrivers lying around. So this is a simple process. I'm not gonna show you how to install this into your PlayStation. I'm just gonna show you how this part goes into the plate into the heat sink as you can see here there are three of these little pads and what you want to do is put one pad on the bottom one pad on top of the drive and then another pad uh or, or then screw this together and then you're ready to install it into your playstation the process of installing into your playstation is actually quite easy all you have to do is once you install it inside you screw everything in uh, screw down a little back part you could see this online too and then the playstation does all the work for you after that which is very simple all it's going to ask you to do is format the drive and it's going to tell you how fast that drive works which is actually pretty awesome but let's get this installed into the heatsink again um, the biggest issue with doing this yourself is finding a drive that actually fits inside your playstation because it could be a little too thick. So like I said, the, the, the MHQ JRH heatsink is probably about, I think I paid maybe $8 for it, seven, eight bucks. So it was relatively inexpensive and that kept the cost down for me as opposed to paying for the $219 proprietary Xbox drive. I think I paid, I paid 169 or 149 for the, the gum stick and then, uh, eight dollars or so for the this drive so it was actually about as expensive if not just a little bit more expensive than the 512 gigabyte version of the xbox proprietary drive which is coming out later on this year so anyway let's get to this part <clears throat> all right so first things first uh hopefully you can see this on camera here i'm going to be taking this little 
silicon pad. I'm going to take off this little protector here, and I'm just going to drop it right into here. There's a little bit of stickiness to the bottom. That's why I took that off. And it's just going to sit right down on the inside part. And then I'm going to peel off the backside. This part's so easy. Look at this. And then I could take my little gum stick and just push it right down there. Now, again, you see these little parts right here by the tip of my finger. There's that little like half moon crescent shape. There's another little crescent shape here. I'm gonna line up those two little crescent shapes and I could adjust this if I need to. But the thing I wanna make sure it sticks out is the actual connector that is going to connect to the PlayStation. So I just wanna put it just like that. Little plastic piece. And I'm just going to drop this right on top of my little gum stick here. What we should do is line it up just like that. So a little bit further back here. I want to give it just enough space. There. That should be it right there. And now I just got to install the, the six screws all around it. And then I could just pop that right into my PlayStation and I'm good to go. So I know some of the biggest questions out there are what types of drives work, what types of heat sinks work with the PlayStation. The MHQJRH heat sink on Amazon, I'll leave links in the description below, does fit inside of your PlayStation 5. So if you have an SSD that is compatible, this heat sink will work for you all right well guys that's going to do it for me i am ben the curious consumer i do appreciate you guys stopping by so if you guys found value in this video please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already don't forget to ring that bell down below that notifies you every single time we make a new video and of course don't forget to follow us on instagram and twitter and as always stay curious and i will catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching